Hello everyone, Joshua Myers here, and welcome to what I would like to call the Graveyard Shift Podcast, where we will be discussing movies or TV shows, games, whatever, as long as they're all related to horror, and as long as I personally have watched and or played said movie, TV show, or game. This is going to be the first episode of this podcast. I actually got another episode coming up. It's more so kind of a review. It's going to be a review with me and Josh that's going to be a part of my 31 Days of Helming Review Series this year. And as for the Graveyard Shift podcast review for the original Phantasm by Don Cross Grow. But we're not talking about that right now. Today we're talking about the premiere episode of Chucky, the TV series. Directed by Don Mancini, stars Devin Sala, Brad Durr, Fiona Durr, Darren Fertilli, Alex Vincent, Christine Elise, and much more. So what did I personally thought of the, the pilot episode of this show? First of all, let me kind of give you a backstory into what I think of this whole Chucky franchise as a whole first before I just dive into the this review now i it, do and plan on i do plan on uh, reviewing every single chucky movie that i actually reviewed all of them except for the child's play 2019 review so you'll be seeing those at some point in fact i'm going to be posting my review of the original child's play this month during my 31 days of helming review series so be sure to look for that but uh personally i'm <laughs> i like the chucky franchise i like the character of chucky it's just that i'm not like as big of a fan of this franchise as some other people are. In regards to big horror franchises, this is probably on the lesser in regards to my top favorite horror franchises. So it's not one like I'm a huge fan of or anything like that. And just kind of a quick notion of the films I, I don't like. I like the first Child's Play fine. I really like Child's Play 2. That's one of my favorites. Child's Play 3 is good. I do have fun with Child's Play Free. I don't think it's nearly as bad as what people have been saying it is. Uh, Bride of Chucky is another one of my favorites, actually. Seed of Chucky. <laughs> yeah, fuck that movie. Curse of Chucky, another one of my favorites. Uh, I think it did pretty well in regards to bringing the franchise back to its roots and everything. And I think it is what it needed to be at the time. Cult of Chucky. I'm not a big fan of, and you'll see why in my review, although nowhere near as bad as a Seed of Chucky. Uh, the Child's Play remake that came out in 2019, so a couple years ago, I actually did like that one. I enjoyed it, you know? It does have its problems, but I enjoyed it. So now we're at the pilot episode for Chucky the TV series, which goes back to the original continuity uh, that was created by Don Mancini. In fact, he's helming this whole series. This is a show that's been discussed for several years now. I guess we'll just get into my thought on the show, like the very first episode. What did I think, thought of it? I, um, it was okay. It was not great, but wasn't bad either. It was just, eh, okay. That was a decent time. I will say this though, I think I like it better so far than Seed and Cult of Chucky. But I don't like it nearly as much as like Child's Play 2, Bride of Chucky, or even Curse of Chucky. I will say this. I think this is a step up from Cult of Chucky in regards that it feels more like Curse of Chucky and everything. Both the tone, the story, and everything feels more like Curse of Chucky. Even how they handle Chucky. He's mostly the doll throughout most of the episode. And you see sometimes hints of movements and everything like that. Maybe you get a bit of a laugh until the very end of the episode and then where he shows himself in that walking and talking uh, as Brad Durf, you know, like with the voice of Brad Durf. He's still pretty good in it. Oh, before I go any further, I should like to point out this is going to contain some spoilers. I'm not going to give too much into this episode. I will discuss some spoiler stuff and this is stuff that's in the trailer. So yeah. If you consider what was shown in the trailer spoilers, then it's probably best to I'll just go and watch the show first and then come back and listen to this review. Oh, and we also get a, I guess you could say a cameo from Alex Vincent as uh, Andy Barkley. Uh, he calls the main character about the doll and everything like that. And that was, that was okay. I'm not sure how they're planning on handling uh, Andy. I know in the trailer, you sh they showed uh, him working with uh, Kyle and everything seems like they're trying to these good guy dolls that have the split soul of Chucky from the previous film and everything and trying to eradicate them. I'm kind of surprised they didn't show Tiffany yet. 
in this episode, at least as far as I know. Uh, they could... I, I, I think there was a certain part, like, you know, in the trailer where uh, our main character is holding the big guy doll, almost, like, holding Chucky, and he's kind of like, almost like a ventriloquist act, and it's like, it's contagious, isn't it? Laughing at people. Well, guess what, dickheads? Now the joke's on you! From the trailer, uh, I could have sworn I might have saw Jennifer Tilly in the audience, as well as either... Like, there was a girl next to her, I'm not sure, it could have been... Uh, one or two, one of two people, could have been Alice, Nika's niece from Curse of Chucky, kinda looked like her, or it could have been Glenda. Um, cause I heard rumors that they do plan on bringing back Glenn and Glenda in the show. I don't know, so it could have be either one of those two. Um, I don't know. For all I know, I didn't solve Jim Bertilli in the crowd. Um, but... I do think I did, like, I did saw her in the crowd, so that's kind of cool. Visually, it looks pretty good for mate, for TVs, like, just basically for a TV show. Now, not as good as a, as a actual movie could have looked. You know, I think Curse and uh, Cult of Chucky looks better than in this movie, like, than in this first episode. As far as I know, this is going to be an eight episode season that's going to premiere both on the sci-fi channel and the usa network there, it's also going to premiere on their streaming apps for so for all you cord cutters out there don't worry this is going to be on you know this is going to be on streaming both the sci-fi channel app and the, the usa network app uh which i watched the first episode on the sci-fi channel app on my roku so i don't really watch cable anymore i still got cable if it were up to me i basically would have all of us not have cable and just go straight to streaming so basically cut the cord completely so overall there's some stuff i liked about in this episode and so far this show show but there are some things i am kind of concerned about in regards to where they're going to take the direction of the show in regards to certain things now, the one thing I'll give Dom and Zine props on is I like the idea of him taking the I like just basically addressing bullying and everything like that and dressing as a kind of in a way hate crime because yeah, bullying is a hate crime actually. I've been bullied before actually uh, throughout my school life and that and even after I've been bullied by people. Although I guess it would it be considered bullying after you graduate high school? Um, like, if you're no longer in school, I guess it would. Because there's such a thing as cyberbullying, I've gotten a fair share of that, too. So, I, I appreciate the Dom and Zinni's taking that route. The thing I just don't like, actually, and this is kind of where my concerns are, is he kind of hammers it in pretty much. Like, it's like, oof. Like, that is the thing. I'm like, when I said I was bullied, I, yes, I was bullied. I got, like, both bullied in school more so i've kind of been used and everything people have used me you know kind of used my you know kindness and everything like that to their own selfish and sometimes like cruel benefits and that you know just to kind of play it off for laughs uh, i'm not going to name who because i'm not that kind of person but for those of you who may be watching you know who you are and you should be ashamed of yourself. So on the one hand, yes, I do appreciate that Dom and Zine's tackling that subject, but I think he hammers it in so much that honestly, there is no likable character in this episode. Like, honestly, it was kind of hard to really get attached to anybody. Uh, the closest person I could see getting emotionally attached to is the main character. And because of the bullying aspect and that. Oh, should I mention too that, uh, so Devin Saul is in this movie. Well, Devin Saul is in the show. Um, he uh, plays the uh, the dad of the main character. And they also hammered that into with him being an alcoholic and almost kind of an abusive father. Like, honestly, for a moment for this show, I thought I was watching a Stephen King, you know, like if Stephen King directed directed and wrote Chucky. I almost felt like I was watching that. Because um, of how much uh, Don Mancini seems to hammer in all the, these different messages and everything like that. And yeah, I'm... And that's my biggest problem, again. Like, I think Don Mancini seems to have a problem with handling a... Like if, 
Because for me, if you're going to have social commentary of any kind, I don't care what it is, have a sense of nuance, you know? Try to show both and, you know, that yes, there are these bad people out there who are like this, you know, or have these beliefs and everything like that. But also try to show that there's a lot of good in the world and everything like that. Not have it be all bleak and, you know, and I'm not sure if that's what Dominion Zin was going for or he just doesn't know how to handle social commentary with sense of nuance or anything like that. I don't know. But yeah, that's just kind of my thing. And I'm not 100% certain if I plan on checking out the rest of the show. I don't know. I'll have to watch episode two, see how that is. If this is, if it starts to become more of a problem and that, I'll, I'll, I'm just saying, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to watch the rest of the show. As long as you understand nuance, as long as you understand, you know, subtlety, as long as you could also do it in an unbiased way, then I'm good with that. Hell, there's been some movies I've watched that have social commentary, man of some stuff that I disagree with, but they do it in a more nuanced way and sometimes even an unbiased way. Those to me are some of the best movies in regards to social commentary. So that's just all I'd like to say. If you're going to do films with social or TV show with social commentary, then have, know how to add nuance, know how to have these kind of discussions in an unbiased way. And sure, maybe you could make it uncomfortable. I don't mind that either. Because some of these topics are uncomfortable to talk about. You know? And it shouldn't make you question and everything, you know, what is right in the world, what is wrong in the world. But man, I just don't like it when it's like, it's beating you with a sledgehammer almost with their messaging. Other than that, it's, it's good. The episode's okay. Well, I will give one credit is I actually do like the look of Chucky in here. And even, like, it's much more closer to the look of the original First Free than even a uh, curse and a uh, cult of Chucky did. Um, even, like, some of the details, like, you know, when Chucky's like, Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm your friend to the end. Heidi ho! <laughs> you know, when he's like that, uh, it sounds more like from the original Free films, because if you remember, especially in Cult of Chucky, for some reason they did something with his voice to where it just doesn't sound right when he's in the doll form. I will also say too, uh, Brad Durr seems to have, is having more fun in this than he did in uh, Cult of Chucky. They're giving him much better lines and everything like that. So that's another positive. Uh, so yeah, I just, I also like the music too, for the most part. Not so much the artists, like the various artists' music, but regards to the music composed. Now, I'm not sure if Joseph Leduca came back to compose the TV show, because there's some bits in here I'm like, oh, that's from uh, Curse and Cult of Chucky, because uh, uh, again, uh, Joseph Leduca composed the music for Curse and Cult of Chucky. So I'm not sure if he came back fully or they just ripped some bits off from. Uh, Carson Cole to Chucky, I don't know. But yeah, overall, would I recommend you watch uh, the Chucky TV show? Especially its pilot episode. Again, it really depends on the person, you know? If you're a big Chucky fan and everything, you know, then you might like this. You know, you might get a kick out of it. If you're someone who likes all the social commentary stuff and that and don't, don't give a crap about nuance or anything like that, then you might dig this. But if you're someone like me who's not that much into Chucky and definitely don't like it when the movie slip, like beat you over with a sledgehammer with its messages and that and don't seem to understand sense of nuance and that, then it's probably best to stay away from this TV show and just uh, probably pop in one of the older Chucky movies like let's say, in my case, probably like Child's Play 2, Bride of Chucky or even Curse of Chucky, but I don't know. I'm hoping the show will kind of turn itself around uh, with its second episode. Maybe it'll be a lot more fun. Maybe because of the fact they got a lot of this out of the way in the first episode, then maybe the next seven episodes will be more fun, more interesting, maybe do some stuff with the franchise I haven't seen before without breaking the continuity, you know, and everything. I'm looking at you, Cole to Chucky. If you like the first episode of my podcast, let me know in the comments below and show that by clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel if you're 
new to my channel. And uh, yeah, I would like to do more of these podcasts, especially for stuff like this, where I'm like, eh, there's only one episode of a show now, so might as well just talk about the one episode like this. Which, by the way, later, if I do decide to stay through the entire show and that, I do plan on probably doing a full review of season one of uh, Chucky. So that's it for this review. Now tell me in the comments down below, have you seen the first episode of Chucky? What did you thought of it? I would honestly like to hear your guys' thoughts. Do you agree with my opinions or do you not? Uh, be nice in the comments section. These are just opinions. It doesn't make my opinion right. It doesn't make your opinion right or anything like that. You know, <laughs> It, it's art. Art is supposed to be subjective. And I, I am really curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments. And again, play nice with each other, play nice with me, and we all be cool. If I see anything like that in the comments where it's not like that, gets very aggressive and everything like that, I will be removing your comments and blocking. So that's it for episode one of my Graveyard Shift podcast. Thank you guys for watching, and hi, I'm Chucky. And I'm your friend to the end. <laughs>